Sorry about my shit. Rise, minions, and out. welcome to Unmade Gaming. We are here for another episode of our Patreon campaign. This one is called uh, The Rise. This is a Monty Cook Games cipher system. Uh, we're using the uh, game that I can't remember. All of a sudden, my brain dropped out of my head. Uh, Gods of the Fall. Uh, the Gods of the Fall setting for a cipher system. Uh, and we are on episode 12 of this game. Uh, and as always, if you guys like what we do here and you want to support the channel, the best way to do so is by clicking on that Patreon link down below, uh, joining us over there for all kinds of super cool behind the scenes exclusives. While you're down there, click on that Discord link and join us in the community. Uh, join us in the Discord, be a part of the community, be a part of the conversation. And as always, in the bottom right-hand corner, you will see the corruption bar. That bar serves two purposes. One is when that bar fills, I get to do the hell I want to these unexpected players. And two, every single dollar that goes into that bar goes back uh, to this channel to help me replace myself by hiring Gnome and Dot and other people that are much better at their jobs than I am. Um, that's it. That's all I got. Without further ado, let's jump back into the rise. As I find my notes that I definitely took previously on the rise. After picking up the trail of some missing citizens and some strangely behaving newcomers, our would-be godlings found themselves at an abandoned temple. However, what was once a gathering place for the worshippers of the god of magic had now become a profane resting place for the unsettlingly macabre. A de uh, sorry, determined to free the souls trapped within, the budding demigods valiantly fought against the mysterious cultists and their dark abominations. We cut into the temple uh, to Vericocho, as you guys are still breathing heavy and heaving after the death of this ginormous pile of corpses that was trying to kill you and consume your flesh and make itself grow. Uh, there are dozens of empty cages along the wall of this church, uh, of this temple, where once stood caged people from the town or travelers throughout the town uh, of uh, Old Nemero. Uh, yeah, you guys have uh, a sword from a Knight of Reconciliation. Uh, I believe you also have the shield of a... Uh, uh, Oh, no, you gave that back to him, didn't you? Um, gee, Antares gave that back. Oh, you handed him a short sword. That's what it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you do have the sword of a Knight of Reconciliation. Uh, and at your feet, collectively, is a pile of corpses that is now inanimate. What are you guys doing inside this temple? I think she's, uh, as she's made her, her move there to, to kill the Reconciliator, she's just like, and like a yell with for the for the effort of having to take out such a big dude. Yes. And uh, you 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 describe like the energy of the sword just kind of uh, drains from it. Um, it's like it kind of like swirls around the the end of the sword, like dissipates into the air. And uh, she just like turns and and like looks at the others, stands up, and just like ding, 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 like throws the sword down on the ground. She's like, we done here? Uh, Mina um, straightens up from having thrust his uh, spear into the monstrosity quite, quite, with quite some force. And he just looks over at Antares and the now decapitated reconciliator and then just turns and heads towards the back door. Okay. Uh, Korax and Sadlitz, what are you guys doing? Yeah, I think we're done here, and I don't think we should be here all that much longer. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Korax? Oh, Korax looks down to the body, looks up at Antares. Guess we can't ask him why he was here all by himself. He said that they don't travel alone in this this guy was you really think he was gonna entertain a conversation with us and she she kneels down and uh, uh takes the sword that she had given him and puts it back in her scabbard and she starts searching the body down okay looking looking for any kind of more more money any kind of weird things she might find yeah let's see um let me see here. Do I have the stats for a Night of Reconciliation? No, because you guys aren't meant to kill them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> why would I have that? Uh, yeah, you begin to like search his uh, his his armor. Um, you know, because armor with pockets is uh, very 
<laughs> it's very in. Um, you it have has pockets. Uh, yeah, he has pockets. That's what they do when they put it on it the first time. Um, heavy armor. Uh, they have the weapon that you threw on the ground. Um, they there is no uh, no coin on him. There's no there's no moons and stars uh, because why would they? They're reconciliators. They just take what they need. Yeah. Um, you do find uh, a a cipher. Uh, let's let's Ooh. see let's see what the hell that is. Um, I'm gonna okay, have right you. Here. I'm gonna have you roll for uh, for a cipher. Um, What's that? Let's have you roll. Hmm. Uh, let's have you roll a d10. A one. A one. That's either going to be really good or really bad. Okay. And then let's have you roll another thing. Um, let's have you roll a d100. Ooh. 22. 22. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, let's see here. What does this do? 22 is... I love this system for shit like this. I don't usually use tables, but I use them all the time in this. Uh, you get... Hmm. You have an amulet. Um... Uh, it is, uh, oh, you don't know. You don't know what it is. Uh, you have an amulet. That's what you find. You find an amulet on him, and you know that this is a cipher. Um, you can roll, uh, you can roll a Numenera, uh, skill check. Uh, the difficulty would be four, uh, if you'd like to identify what this is. Uh, so that would be an intellect difficulty like. four. Uh, if you have any bonuses to, like, figuring out what, uh, religious artifacts or magical items are, that would help you. If not, you can just roll a difficulty for intellect. I do not know, but I will roll. Fail. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know that <laughs> this, is, this is something um, that is uh, useful, especially for reconciliators. Um, cool. Uh, you find that on him. Uh, is there anything else you're doing with this uh, corpse as you are alone? Um, is Korak still standing there? Yeah, Korax would be talking to her as she's searching him, but if there's anything else you want to particularly do, I'll... Before I say yeah, she, as she's searching him, she kind of, she'll, she kind of, like, glances, not, like, over her shoulder, but she's, she's looks to the side to see if he's still standing there, and, um, she just, she finds the cipher, holds it up, puts it in her, uh, pocket, and she keeps patting him down. Okay. While you pat him down, we're going to cut quickly over to Mina and uh, Seglitz. Uh, you you two have headed out the back door of the church, uh, of the temple, rather, um, where Seglitz has uh, mowed down a series of cultists. And as you are walking in that direction, uh, Mina, you had indicated you were headed out first. Uh, so Seglitz, I think you're a pace or two behind him. Uh, you could have sworn you saw the cultist move, but it's dead. Maybe it was a death row. You're not entirely sure. As you get closer to the door, you see it spasm again. Uh, and as you take another step, you see more of them. So there, I believe there was four of them all begin to spasm. Daylitz only killed one. He scared off the other. Oh, three. that's right. You scared off the other two. Uh, so there is one spasming on the ground. What are you doing, Mina, as you approach this doorway? Um... Does it look, um, the spasms, do they look like it's alive or is, like someone in pain or is it? Man, ooh, hard to tell. Uh, it does not look like it's alive. Uh, and the way that it's moving is very jerky and like the body shouldn't move that way. Uh, you can imagine if someone were alive, that would be in a great deal of pain. Uh, but you're pretty sure a sailor wouldn't leave an injured guy laying here. Uh, he'll look. At, he'll look at Sadlitz and say, "It's uh, it's not good form to uh, leave something suffering." What do you mean? It should be dead. You see it like its back arches, 
um, and kind of like arcs on the ground, and you see it like flat back down. You see like an arm spasm and sort of like snap and crunch in a different direction. Well, I guess it's not dead. <laughs> Say, so let's pulls out and storms, and he goes to stab it. Yeah, you you head out there with your with your sword, and you stab this thing. And as you stab it, um, the like, it's like. It's like stabbing uh, something that is is very tight. Uh, you stab into it and it splits where you stab it, um, and like the skin splits kind of open, and you see like bone sort of protrude out of this thing, and it continues to spasm and arc, and its arms bend backwards, and you see it like sort of flip over, almost like crab walk uh, style, as its arms and legs sort of snap backwards and up in that position. You see it kind of scurry around towards you, and its head is now like facing the sky, and it like cracks twice, and its head begins to. To split open uh, as this thing begins to morph into some sort of creature. What are the two of you doing as you see this? Taking my sword back and jumping back a few paces. That's fair. Um, Mina will kind of duck to the side knowing that um, the archer from the roof fell down somewhere along that that side of the building. Uh, just, along the side, yeah. Yeah, and and glance down the side just in case this yeah, is... You peek your head there. out and you see the same sort of spasm uh, and you see the head split out in half uh, and then slowly the inside of the head of this creature uh, begins to like heal over and it seems to have two strange heads uh, and it continues to spasm and like crab walk towards you as it like twitches. You don't see that every day. Korax! Korax, as you hear uh, your name being yelled, you hear like this weird wet thumping side sound from outside of the door uh, that you had barred uh, in the front of the temple. Uh, he looks down to Antares. I guess it's time to go. Do you head uh, out towards the back door, Korax? Uh, he's going to head towards Mina and say, let's okay. uh, keep him safe. And Terry's, you are left alone for a moment uh, in this panic. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. She's like, I guess it's time to leave. She's just gonna like, cause he, I'm assuming he fell like uh, face down on his yeah, chest. Sure. She's just gonna like grab him and look like fl and flip him onto his back. Okay. And uh, as soon as Korax walks away, she uh, she puts a hand like on his chest and she like kind of closes her eyes and lowers her head, and she mutters quietly. Um, to herself, no fear in life, no fear in death. Your fight is over. I offer you eternal rest. And she pauses for a moment and gets up. Okay. And then leaves. Okay. Uh, you do so as you head uh, towards the back door. Um, this thing is uh, is is still snapping, uh, and you see like the bones in the skull sort of start to like compress, as if like you know you maced it. Uh, it compresses and elongates at the top of the head, um, the fuck is like. That? hair or something like that some matted nasty fur begins to slowly like sprout over the back of this thing you see that the elbows sort of lock into place and become um like they're less elbows and more they, they sort of tuck in and the hands sort of knot into like almost paws uh you see that the the knees sort of <laughs> and pop inward um and this thing is forming into some kind of grotesque amalgam of what could be a wolf. Mina, you've seen this before, only not this part of it. This is a two-headed wolf as it finishes its transformation. It looks up to you with one head. The other head sort of looks to the left where its companion is. And you hear the do -do -do, do -do -do, do -do -do, of the other one galloping towards you. Um, there are two of these wolves. What are the four of you doing? So I have I have seen that as I get yeah as you get up there you see it snap into place. She immediately grabs her sword and like draws it out. Okay. What the hell is going on around here? I'm assuming she's never seen anything like that. Before. No. No. Okay. Those are pretty fucked up. Yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah. Just and she. Mm, I, I, I'm assuming it's menacingly. It's threatening. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, very much so. Yeah. yeah. One, of the, one of the heads is snapping at uh, towards Mina. The other one is looking for its 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 companion, and the you can hear something from outside on the other side of the temple, like running towards you. I've yeah, she's some dr- strange beasts in my day, but I've never seen something like this. Mina's going to make a quick recovery. Okay. Uh, if anyone yes. needs to make a quick recovery, a one turn uh, or a one action recovery, you guys may do so. Yeah, I guess I'm going to do that. You just click the yeah. action. Yep. Uh, that is not a quick recovery. That is a 10 minute rest. Unfortunately, that means you oh. have already used your quick recovery. Uh, so the first one is one action, the next one is ten minutes, the next one is one hour, and the next one is twenty-three hours. No, I think it says, it oh, says rest no, one the, action. That's the one action. The next oh, you're right, you're right. The next one is ten minutes. My bad. I can't read, guys. I've been playing for too long. Um, yeah, you see that. You do that. Uh, so you recover, recover, and then you can add those points to any pool you want. Uh, get top off what four. I have. Corex is going to cost resonance field. Okay. Um... Which lasts for one minute. Whenever something attacks him, uh, it basically helps him defend. If that comes in, I'll explain it in more detail. Cool. Um, but he's going to cast that. And these creatures, does he recognize them from anything in mythology um, that he would have read about in the past? They, Ooh. Not super similar to Helmore, but they're gone. Yeah. Uh, roll, me, roll me religion. Roll me an intellect uh, difficulty level... F- uh, difficulty level five. Uh, knowledge of godly beings yep. would apply? Yep. All right, difficulty five. No bonus difficulty five. Uh, I am going to use one effort on this as well. Success. Success. This is 100%... A nightfall wolf. This is a lesser manifestation of the night beast. Um, what is the night beast? No one knows. Uh, everyone who did died last time it ended. Uh, it ended an age tens of thousands of years ago. No one has seen the night beast in quite some time. Um, you do know that when the night beast rouses, nightfall wolves are born spontaneously. Uh, horses, hounds, wolves, and other uh, and and people can be born horrifically grotesque and squirming uh, into two-headed wolf monsters. Uh, once born, they grow into the full size of black furred wolves with two heads, reaching well over ten feet tall from tail to muzzle. Uh, that is what you know, especially with that eighteen. Uh, that these usually only occur when the night beast rises, whatever that means. Nightfall wolf. Um, Korax will turn to turn as if to head towards the the, the tavern um, and says to them, says to the group, "These are nightfall wolves. They need to be killed now. They're going to get bigger. They are signs of bad things to come. Um, we don't want to be around when they get bigger. Ten feet is there. Is how big they're going to get." These are what I dreamed of. This is definitely the final glaive. I would like everyone to roll me a speed uh, or initiative if you have training in it. Uh, initiative level five difficulty. Okay. I think that's Been the best roll I've ever rolled. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, so it's going to be uh, almost everybody, Wolves, Mina. Um, cool. Uh, so you guys can kind of decide your own turn orders there. Uh, so it is uh, Korax, and Terry's and Sadlitz. You are first to act before the Wolves act. What are you guys doing? <laughs> and Terry's looks exasperated. <laughs> it's like, we have to take care of this now. It's just like, this is why we stayed in the safe house. And she is going to attack. <laughs> okay. Uh, attack this thing. Uh, difficulty uh, is going to be four. Difficulty four to attack. And I'm spending effort. That is a failure. Rough. Wow. Rough shot. 
Uh, yeah, you because. swing and a miss. Uh, perhaps you are so uh, <laughs> exasperated <laughs> uh, you miss. Um, yeah. Korax, She's too busy rolling her eyes yeah. to actually hit the damn thing. <laughs> they rolled so far back, you didn't. You have to blink them back into position. Uh, yeah. Korax and Sadlitz, what are you two doing? Korax is yelling to try to kill these things now. He's going to shoot his crossbow at them. Okay, difficulty four to uh, attack. Effort to roll. Nope. Yikes. I'm going to say, uh, if you roll a 20, I'm going to scream. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, so, that was the other day. <laughs> uh, so, same, last same thing. She swings at this thing. It sort of lunges towards her as you fire. It just barely misses. Uh, Korax, what are you doing? Uh, as they start to move in for attacks and do their... Um fire off their actions. Mm -hmm. uh, Korax says, stay close, and moves sort of as close to the back of the group, but as close to all of them, and yep. he will cast the Blessing of the Gods, Protection Silence, which creates a bubble around him for one minute. Difficulty roll of all defense tasks for myself and creatures I designate uh, will be decreased one step. Okay, what is the radius for that? Short? Uh, it's immediate, so it's literally people have to be next to him. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Um, cool, so... Yeah, we'll say right now you are next to everyone, but if anyone moves, we'll have to readdress that. Um, it is the wolves' turn. Um, I will say, since uh, since Antares attacked it, um, and Mina is also in melee range, we'll have we'll have the two of you guys get attacked. Um, so I would like a difficulty roll from you guys um, as a uh, as a difficulty five. Sorry, speed. You said. Uh, sorry, it's a difficulty four. Uh, speed defense, difficulty four. Uh, can I use my block ability? Auto block the next melee attack. Uh, yeah, you can use that. Okay. Um, so I think, what is that? Just, it just, you just don't take the damage? It, it was very vague in the description. So I just, I block it. That's all that oh, it does. Oh, I'm just going to see a nice roll, you know? Uh, yeah, know, right? that was an impressive roll. That Damn. surely was. Uh, yeah, we'll say you blocked it. Um, uh, uh, Mina, I'll say with that roll, you can counterattack. So if you'd like to counterattack, you may do so. Uh, difficulty four. Okay. Uh, well, it, it lunges towards you. Uh, the one around the corner comes and lunges towards you because uh, you are peeking for it. Uh, you dodge out of the way, definitely move your spear, unable to hit it. However, it is now your turn. I will try again. Jesus. Okay. Good lord. Um, I, I think I know where all the crits went. <laughs> um, all right. Um... Would you like to add plus four to that seven damage, or would you like to have a major effect? I'm just going to add four to that. Okay. Uh, so for a total of 11 fuck you damage, uh, you, <laughs> you stab right between the heads of this thing, uh, directly into it. Uh, with a wet sucking noise, the spear kind of comes back out, and we go back to the top of the order, uh, where we have Antares, Sadlitz, and Korax. Jesus, guys. Uh, yeah, she's going to attack again. <sighs> Difficulty four, you yep. said, correct? Yep, correct. One effort. Perfect. On par. On par. Yep. Uh, Sadlitz, would you like to try again? Korax, if these things have to be killed now, what does it mean? Um, I can't remember the name of the thing now. The, the, night beast. the night beast, Mike. Yep. It means the night beast is coming. I'm gonna pretend like I know what that is, and crap. A lot worse than them. Um. Bum bum bum. Bum. <laughs> That's a one. Cool. Um. Whilst you resolve that, Mike, uh, all Corax is gonna do is a recovery. Okay. So I'll deal with Fair. That. Um. I'm going to deal with the consequences, Mike. 
You don't have a choice. It's a GM and so Nat one, buddy. <laughs> Nat one. Um, okay, fan uh unfucking tastic for you. Uh this wolf is going to bite you twice. Um so it is going to make an attack on you. Uh I need you to make me a defense, a speed defense four. Um uh, uh Chris, what does your defense thing do again? Uh reduce the difficulty by one. Okay. Uh, so don't forget, forget you have anything within the range. So don't oh, forget you have a bonus for that, or an asset. So for that. then it'd be de- speed defense three, or would you defense four with an asset? Uh, defense roll with an asset. So defense four with an asset. Okay, make a second one. It's gonna bite at you twice. It's getting free attacks all over the place here. Holy oh, shit! Are you kidding me? <laughs> ooh. Ooh. I, I, Jesus! I don't know what to do with that. Um, be okay. A good session, everybody. Okay, hot damn! I've never seen that happen before, and I don't. It's like the opposite of when you guys keep rolling crits. Um, okay, all right. Okay, all right, all right, okay. Uh, you take seven points of might damage uh, from this thing chomping into right. your bones. Um, and because of that, Nat 1, it clamps down and locks it in like a crocodile. Uh, you have one of your arms is locked into this thing's mouth. You will continue to take damage every round until you break free. Can you tell me which arm it is? So can... uh, Let's say your left arm. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Um, okay. All right. Uh, that is uh, that is your turns. It is still its turns. Uh, this one is going to hold on to you, um, and you're just going to straight up take 10 points of damage, um, of might damage. Uh, Mina, the Ooh, other one is going to attack at you. Um, well, that reduces my might pull to zero uh, way be- before... 10 because the seven reduced me to four. So, uh, so once your might, once your might pool go. goes, it would go to speed. It just goes down the line. Uh, and intellect is the last one to go. Um, Mina difficulty four uh, speed defense uh, with an asset success. Okay, cool. Mina, it is your turn. I will try to finish this thing off with some luck, please. Cause someone needs some help. Yikes. I'm going to kill Sadlitz right now. Oh. I think you are. <laughs> I think yeah, well, you might be. That was the plan. I think the wolf has other ideas. Guys, I told the cast that I had to wrap this up a little earlier today, and they're <laughs> really showing up in force. Um, okay. Uh, go ahead and make me two... Uh, two speed defenses with an asset. Uh, it's going to attack you twice as well. Jesus, guys. This is not... Not like this, guys. Not like this. Don't kill the old man like this. Okay. If you roll, if you roll another one, I swear to God. Okay. You're going to take 14 points of damage as it bites you twice. Oh. Sorry, those normal defense rolls, right? If Mina's uh, next to Korax, they should be difficulty fours. They, oh, I've just been adding, adding it as a bonus instead. They, For some reason, your rolls aren't showing as the bonus. They're difficulty added. four rolls to begin with. Uh, so difficulty four with a bonus would make that a target number of 12. You roll the 12 and a 12. Uh, you rolled a 14. Yeah, so those do not hit you. Um, oh, okay. It should be Thank difficulty God. four, uh, speed defense, uh, with an asset, uh, which would make it a difficulty three at the end of the day, um, which is uh, nine. Um, so yeah, you dodge both of those attacks, uh, and you do not take any damage. Whew. Um, Jesus uh, yikes. Uh, it is the top of the initiative. Uh, say that you can attack or you can escape. I am definitely going to attempt to escape this grapple. <laughs> okay, this would be uh, this would be a might or a speed difficulty five. I'm gonna have to go with speed. Unfortunately, I am impaired. Okay, uh, five. 
Uh, I would I would suggest that you spend uh, effort if you can because impaired makes it increase by one difficulty. What is my level of effort? Yeah, I'm definitely doing effort. Okay. Uh, do I still get that asset or no? The asset is for defense. Oh, so no. So no. Yeah, so not getting okay. out of that one. Uh, so yeah, you try to yank your arm out of there. Not happening. Uh, and Terry, you see that he is clamped down ah, on this blasted thing. Blasted dog. Corex, uh, you see the same thing. What are the two of you doing on your turn? This took a turn. Uh, <laughs> yeah, try and kill this thing. This is the same one that Mina has already attacked. It is not. Correct? It's not? Nope. Shit. There was one in front of you and then one coming around the side of the building. Mina attacked the one around the side of the building. Can I get him, try and get him out of the grab? Like, try and do what he just did to himself? Sure. Yeah. Uh, it'll be a difficulty five, either uh, might or um, speed. Might. Difficulty five. One effort. Perfect. Finally. Uh, and as a, reminder, as a reminder, don't forget to remove your points from your pool when you spend effort. It doesn't do it automatically. Um, cool. Yeah, I so you, three edge. you sort of... Oh, fuck you. You sort of grip in its jowls and pull this thing apart just far enough for Silas to get his arm out of there uh, right in the nick of time before he took even more damage. Korax, that leaves you. What are you doing with your apple knife? Korax looks around. Um, he heard another one of these things being created uh, on the other side of this building. He's going to look through the door if it's still visible from where he is. Um, does he see that other one coming? I believe you barred the door. Uh, no, we didn't. We left no? Open. Oh, did you? In that That's case... That's how I mm -hmm. came in. That is true. I thought you guys tried to bar it afterwards. Oh, I think you were trying to bar it, and then you just gave up, and they came in. Um, you see the ass end of this wolf running towards town. Shit. Um, he, you just, he just says out loud, shit. There's another one going to town, um, and he casts uh, authority, law, and peace which will stop a foe that can hear it. Ooh, can they understand me? Can they understand me, Mike? You wouldn't know. It's a crazy dog. Hmm. He would attempt it. Um, where he can prevent a foe that can hear and understand, and understand him from attacking anyone or anything for one round. And he's going to try it on the dog that's attacking Seglitz, if he can. Hmm, okay. Um... Yeah. Yeah, I'll say it can understand you. I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, cool. Yeah, you you do that. Uh, and it stops it from doing what? Attacking. Taking an Just attack. Attacking. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, cool. Uh, you do that. It stops attacking. Uh, it's just in there kind of growling at Sadlitz. Um, that brings it to their turns. Um, one of them attacks Mina. So, Mina, I would like a speed defense difficulty four with an asset from Korax. Uh, so difficulty four, uh, it's you would have succeeded. Bonus. Yeah, with your asset, you would have succeeded, um, to be a yeah, nine. I don't know what's going with these rolls. They're not adding the asset. Uh, do you, let me double it check It needs to be an here. asset, not a bonus. A bonus adds a number, whereas an asset reduces difficulty. Yeah, let me, okay. let me double check your sh shitty shit here. Um, do this, roll queries. Let's turn off bonuses. There we go. So the no. roll was of a nine. Yeah, nine would succeed. Nine would yeah, succeed. Um, cool. Uh, let me add that back in there. Um, yeah, you should be good to go from now on. Um, cool. So you dodge this thing. Uh, the other thing... Uh, the other one uh, just lets out a massive howl. Um that's it. It just lets out a massive howl on its turn. Um, then we cut to Mina. Your turn. I cannot hit again. Okay. Uh, that is your turn. We cut back to Antares, Korax, and Sailor's at the top of the order. Difficulty four. Success. 
uh, four, four, four points of damage as you slash into the face of this creature. Uh, and you are good to go with that. Uh, Korax and Sadlitz, what are you guys doing? Korax, Sadlitz? Sadlitz is, uh, is currently thinking about how he can... If he really wants to attack this thing again. <laughs> Screw it. Let's get attacked again. Uh, difficulty four. Yep. There we go. Hell yeah. Uh, so you are uh, attacked with a crossbow. Uh, you do three points of damage to this thing. Um, as you fire this crossbow right into its side, it sort of yelps to the side. Uh, that is a total of seven points of damage to this one. Uh, I believe nine to the other one. Uh, Korax, what are you doing? Uh, he's going to repeat his authority lore and peace uh, okay. to stop that one from attacking Sadlitz again. Okay. Uh, you do that. Uh, we cut over to the wolves' attacks. Um, is it just the beast can't make an attack? Not I'm against a specific attack. person. Anything else? Just call okay. an attack. Fantastic. Um, yeah. So you uh, you do that. It is growling and howling. Um, uh, Mina, the one attacks you again. Uh, so a speed difficulty four with an asset. Um, success. Uh, you're killing it with the nines today. Uh, Mina, it is your turn. <laughs> Man, you are rolling dead on the target number every time. <laughs> this be a difficulty four to attack this guy. I, I cannot hit. Uh, you cannot. Do you have XP? Because you can spend XP to reroll. I need that XP. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, if you say so. Um, yeah, you, Mike. Hey, listen, I'm just saying. I'm just putting it out there. The XP is for you guys to use. Um, cool. That is their turn, your turn. Back up to Sadlitz and Terry's Corex. Let's go. Time for rapid I'm fire in. roll mode, I guess. Another uh, four damage. Another four me. points of damage for you. Hot damn. Um, cool. I'm regretting throwing down that reconciliator blade. Take the plus one. <laughs> okay. Uh, nice. So you got another three points of damage for you. Fan. There's a special plus one there. Oh, yeah. Special plus one, which is good because it cancels out the minus one from you being impaired as fuck. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, you shoot another arrow into this one. It sort of lolls to the side a little bit. Uh, it is still up, but this looks fairly badly damaged with the amount of stabs, uh, its inability to move, uh, and now the arrows that are peppering it. Um, Korax, what are you doing? Uh, repeat the same. Keep, okay. Keep it uh, you, uh, you keep that going. Um, we will we'll keep this in the same order to make it easy, quick combat. Uh, say, uh, uh, Mina, I need a defense from you. Difficulty four plus one asset. Hell yeah. Uh, you and dodge this thing deftly, uh, and it is your turn to attack it. There you go. There you go. Uh, I assume plus three damage. Yeah, plus three damage. Okay, describe how you cleave this thing to death. Um, yeah, Mina, uh, probably still really pissed off from the previous fight, and getting more pissed off with himself for not finishing this thing off when he had the chance yeah um just rather than stab this time he just swings the spear in an arc and catches both heads and just slices through them as it goes past perfect and it falls down perfect absolutely does uh back to the top korax uh and terry's and sadlitz what are you doing you are muted uh, she's slashy <laughs> go for it Four points of damage slashes Four. deep into this thing. Uh, say yeah. this thing looks like it's on its last leg. Finish him. No, nope, no finishing. No finishing for me. If you want to spend XP, you can reroll. I only have the one. Okay. Uh, Korax, it is up to you. This thing looks like it's on its last leg. What are you doing? Doesn't fight the mic. Um... I dare you to. You can still fight. Yeah, but Korax doesn't fight. Uh, 
You could still fight if you wanted to. You st- I think you have a knife still. <laughs> he, he would just stop it from attacking. Okay. It's not the type of thing he would yeah, do that's to been actually try and fight it. <laughs> Perfect. Um, yeah, so you continue that uh, law and order. Dun dun. Um, Mina, it is your turn. There's one left. It looks like it is about to die. Not from me. Not from you. Antares, can you save the day? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, effort. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I do not have any XP. Say this. Sorry, I'm just laughing. Too much. Yeah, it's all wobbling, and it, that's what's making us miss. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, stumbling yeah. to the side. Like one <laughs> head dips, the other one perks up. The other head dips, the other one perks up. And you keep missing. It's drunken fighting style. Yeah. Uh, We're still missing. Oh my god. Through a collective uh, comedy of Benny Hill music, you managed to kill the fucking Night Wolf. <laughs> no, it just falls. It just bleeds to death and falls over. Yeah. You continue to miss uh, as dun, 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 it plays in the background and eventually it bleeds out. Uh, it has one hit point left and I'm not going to have you guys keep doing this for an hour. Um, it dies, uh, through sheer stress, uh, it dies, uh, and collapses to the ground. Uh, and you notice that the the original, the first one, uh, as well as this one, begin to liquefy, uh, and turn into, like, this bubbly black, like, tar oil, and it seeps into the ground and is gone. Orex turns and runs towards town, where he saw the other one go. He just literally turns and sprints okay. in that direction. Whether it's through the building or not, he's just right heading that direction. Okay. You begin to sprint through the building. You kind of leap over a pile of corpses there a little bit, uh, and you head into town. Um, uh, you are running in the direction you saw this thing go. However, in the time this combat took, this thing is out of sight. You sort of start booking it towards, like, the center of town. You get to, like, that junction where, like, the uh, the marketplace is. And you kind of look left, you look right, you look down all the streets you can see. There is no Nightfall Wolf to be seen. Uh, but on the bright side, there are also no screams piercing the night air. Uh, he's not. Does he see any people along the way? If he does, he'd be shouting to them to get inside. Uh, yeah, probably. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a poor town. There's probably some people on the road, people living on the street. You sort of shout at them. Yeah, yeah, he just shouts as he's running through to people to get in, uh, get inside. Once he reaches the market, depending yep. on what everyone else is doing, he would turn and head back towards the Okay, town, yeah, town. you take a good look around. You do not see this this beast wherever it went, uh, but there's no screaming in the night as it is, as if it is attacking anybody. Uh, meanwhile, we cut back to Mina and Terry Seidlitz, who are again licking their wounds. Um, you hear from inside the temple a... Um, not like a crash, but like a scraping of metal. <laughs> she turns around can we, to see can what we it not is. Deal with that. She want to see. She's gonna look to see what it is. Like, uh, you see what, what it is. Uh, you see it, uh, and it is. You see like the closing of a cage door. Uh, and it is uh, the kid. I don't know if you saw him before, uh, but it is a kid who is closing and holding the door closed. Inside one of the cages on the wall. What are you doing? Get out of here. Go home. I, there were so many things around. They're gone now. What do you mean? Uh, say this. As you turn and see him, it is the kid you gave the lockpick to. Um, the kid that was helping you break open the uh, the cages. Um, Sayless disregards his thought of wanting to get his hammer back. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean so many things around? I, I, I was helping you, and then the, 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 the people and the... And he, like, open mouth points to the pile of corpses that was alive. And and now... And he points out to the door uh, where the, the nightfall wolves were attacking you. I, I didn't think it was safe. Uh, are you okay, kiddo? Um, I think so. I, I mean, I'm... I'm fine. I didn't get attacked by monsters. While this whole conversation, Salitz is like pulling out a p- extra pair of like warm clothes. I was like, like an extra shirt, and he's tearing it apart, and he's wrapping the wound on his left arm. Okay. With it. Yeah, all the teeth marks in there. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 um, I, I'm fine, sir. I didn't get hurt. Oh, that's good. Um, did you, did you just see something moving or is it just from before? I think we've dispatched most of the things you were worried about. No, I, I saw the, 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 the people out there start to move and, and then I, and then, and, and, and he points to the giant corpse pile. I just figured it would be safer in here if nothing could get me. That's, that's smart thinking. Way smarter than we are. Um, uh, we, we should get you back to your, uh, your mother. Are, are you guys heroes? No, and say, she turns and walks away. That. I would not say that heroes, but uh, your, your mom did ask us to come find you. Is anyone's uh, symbol still glowing above their heads? I think Sable's symbol. put his out. Okay. Is, is Antares? Pro probably not, because she doesn't know it's there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I think it would have faded as, as the combat would have ended. Um, yeah, yeah Sable, so you, you manually put yours up, so you have to manually put it away kind of thing. So if you would have, you can just say that. If you didn't, then it's still there. He put it out. Okay. Um, and I don't think anyone else had theirs showing. We all did, but when the we sword was activated. Oh, yeah, the sword made everything flare to life, but then it turned it, it, all, it all turned you off. Um, yeah. Uh, so just uh, say that. I'm sorry. You said it was, you did put it away? He manually put his away. Okay. Uh, so currently, no. Uh, Mina, no one is glowing at this moment. Okay. So Mina will just say to him... Uh, do we look like heroes? Uh, he looks to you, uh, and then he like looks to the back of Antares as she's walking away, uh, and he says, that, he, "That lady, she killed a, she killed a knight in one attack, and and you you all you all glowed. Are you are you magic?" Why were you glowing? I think the only guy that among us that knows magic is Korax. And as he's looking around, wondering where the heck Korax went. You all, all four of you glowed. If you'd just seen us fighting out there, you would probably realize we're not magic. Oh, then why, why were you glowing? Uh, trick of the light. Yeah, she had that sword from the reconciliator i it's, think that it's maybe does that sort of stuff he, he looks to you say this and says it's night time there's no there's no light in, in night time and and there's no sun here what what light Zaylitz points to uh, the torch that's just glowing in just inside the giant torch file <laughs> that you put there last session. It it's still good. smells so bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, he he looks to you and just sort of like nods, uh, in a in a very like I don't believe you sort of manner. <laughs> um, <laughs> as he definitely saw you glowing without the torchlight. Um, Mina will wink at him and say, um, we probably need to keep that between ourselves. Um, she, te and he'll point at Antares, she tends to, uh, hurt people that, uh, that might reveal the secrets. Yeah, she chopped his head off with one swing. Yeah, she does that. To, like, a lot a of lot. people? Yeah. Like, there was one guy out the front. She ended him, and then this night. Plus, this, there was this big slave master oh, okay. guy. What is in Terry's skill count? We've got the slave driver. We've got the knight. We've got um, a bunch of people out there. Is Sidelitz okay. listing them off in front of the kid? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> she did not kill the slave He's master. He's just doing like his Mina finger. Did. You, you, see him, you see him slowly close the door of the cage again. I, I, I know how to get home. 
That, don't worry, I'll, I'll make sure she doesn't hurt you. Okay. She'll protect you. And, and I, I won't tell anyone that you guys are magic heroes. Good. Yeah. Or uh, she might truth. pay you a visit. <laughs> no, she won't pay you a visit. Just are you? How just do you know? I'm not. We're not her masters. <laughs> I'll make sure of it, kid. Don't worry about it. Okay, Mister. <laughs> um, and he k- opens the cage, uh, and, and comes out and is like standing, um, like a, like a, like a kid who recognized who didn't recognize someone. He's like behind your leg, uh, Mina, as you walk towards whatever direction. He's like very close to you. Um, oh, also, kid, can I have my hammer back? I, I, um, I don't have it. Figures. Uh, he, you can see the hammer is in his back pocket. Um, I, Bloody I, pockets. Uh, he is holding on to, like, the back of your shirt, Mina, as you... I'm going to grab the hammer out of his back pocket forcefully. <laughs> yeah, he's a child. You just snatch it up. He's, hey! That was my hammer. Was mine in the first place. It just looked like yours. It was actually mine. I had two. I had yours and, and my own. M- Mina will um, just if you're gonna lie, out of at least make it more believable, and just give it to the kid and say, um, "Good work with freeing all those people." Thanks. I, you I, this. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, thanks for killing the bad guys. He like sort of shouts over Mina's <laughs> leg towards the back of Antares, uh, in a sort of terrified voice. Um, at this Wait, time, did he have oh, like moved into the church at that? Like, uh, oh, he was in the church. Yeah, uh, and then so Mina so and Salus had moved in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so when you walked I, away, you can walk towards the back door or the front door, whichever one you wanted. Yeah. So she, uh, yeah, whatever door. I'm assuming the back door was closest because that's the door they had been going out. Yeah. So she would walk over, like, uh, kind of around the corner, so that he wouldn't see her. Okay. Uh, he just you hear him shout, "Thanks for being for killing that guy, Miss." Um, you hear it through any one of the cracked and broken windows. Um, at this point, uh, Korax, uh, in, in all of his, uh, athleticism comes wheezing back towards the front door. Um, uh, you see this kid, uh, glued to Mina. Uh, fully out of breath. Right. Um, there's no time for dealing with children. Um, the, the other one's gone. I don't know where it went. I try to find it. It's not in town and I didn't hear anyone screaming, but... It's gone. It's not good. And he's hands on knees, completely out of breath. He doesn't run. Running's for, for exercise people. That's true. <laughs> exercise people. Um, yeah, you guys You guys all hear that. Uh, even Antares, through the, uh, the broken windows, you hear the same thing. Where are you guys going? What are you, what are you, where are you headed to? What do you, what do you suggest... Uh... I don't know where it is. Which way is the safe house again? As he starts wincing from the pain in his arm. Oh, but... Whew. They, um... He looks, he looks across at the dead reconciliator in the church. Um, she did say we'd be safe in there. And he just stares at the reconciliator. Is uh, she... Kid, and... you, go for it. No, 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 continue. Uh, he, he looks at the kid and says, Tell your... F- Friends and family, the people who live in this town, that they need to clear this up. It's only going to smell worse. Um, I mean, I don't look after children. But he's probably stolen stuff out of your pockets. And as he's finished talking, and Terry's appears back around the corner. She didn't actually leave. She mm-hmm. was standing on the other side of, like, on the against the wall. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that she heard everything that they were, ta- oh, that yeah. they were talking. Oh yeah, yeah. All all the windows are blown out of this place. You can clearly hear everything. Yeah. It's this way. Thank you. And she, now she turns and walks and starts heading back towards the abbot. I follow her. I just picture leaving everybody else behind. I just picture Korax as one of the monsters from Monsters Inc. He's like, put that kid back where it came from. Um, help me. Or so help me. <laughs> it's part of our new musical. Um, yeah. Uh, so the so Antares is saying that you begin walking back towards the safe house. Korax, Mina, uh, child and tell. Where are you guys going? Uh, Mina will just look at Korax and say, uh, "We've got to see him back to his mother at least." 
Korax looks at him. You've you've lived here a while, right? Yeah. You know your way around? Mm-hmm. Seems to know the way. Is the oh. abbot on the way, like through the marketplace? Um so Yes, no. Uh, so the marketplace is uh, not in direct line of the Abbot, but it's a, it's not a huge city. Um, so it would be like a 10-minute detour. Uh, you guys came from the... Uh, so uh, Korax and, and Teres, you came straight from the Abbot to here, uh, whereas uh, Korax and Saylitz went through... Uh, sorry, uh, Mina and Saylitz went through the, the alleyways. Um, so there's not a direct route to, the, uh, uh, to both of them. You'd have to kind of go out of your way, but it's not that far out of your way. After a moment, Korax will just look to me and I'm not going to convince you otherwise. We're going to need to take the kid, aren't we? Definitely. Especially if All that right. thing you saw is still out there. Well, you killed two of them. So it wasn't the only one who saw it. Let's get going. Yep. Lead the way, kid. Um, so you head through the marketplace, um, Mina, you have a vague idea of where, um, the mother was located when you found her, like what alley she stumbled out of. Um, so you can easily, uh, head back that direction, uh, and drop off the kid. Unless there's anything you would like to do there, uh, we can cut back to the, uh, the abbot. Um, Mina will just wander over to some of those, um, missing persons posters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, he'll... Just ask Corex, can I borrow that knife of yours? You can have it if you want. And he pulls it out of his pocket and hands it to Mina. Yeah. Mina will slice his hand and then just put the blood on the poster. Mm -hmm. And then kind of just look out to where the beast might be and just say, come and find us. Leave this place alone. Okay. I like that. Um, so, yeah, you do that. There's now a, a bloody handprint on this... Uh, um, uh, this this poster, uh, and the kid runs off to the alley. Uh, there's a brief exchange between uh, him and the mother, the mother and you, thanking you for uh, finding and saving her son. Um, and I assume a cool uh, look from Korax telling them to clean up the pile of corpses in their town. Um, and then we can cut back to the abbot. Um, and Terry said, as you have been there for a second, are you headed right back down to the safe house or are you, um, staying in the, the inn proper and waiting for your friends? Um, Salus is going down. Yeah. Or, sh okay. So if Salus is going, uh, as they're, if you, are you going to catch up to her and walk with her or? You guys are going down because he's, he's going down just so he can like take a lie down and yeah. check his wounds. Yes, and so she will look at his wounds like, are you all right? <sighs> he points to his left arm with the wrapped clothes. That's going to leave a mark. And <laughs> she says with humor in her voice, though her face <laughs> does not show any humor. Uh, I could cut it off if you want. <laughs> no, thanks. She just kind of, she smirks. I think that's the closest to a smile you might get. Um, so as, and, oh, good, good. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, to answer your question, I think she will let, she will let say, let's go down because she locked the door. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, she will let him in and then she will wait for the others. Okay. It's not very long. A few minutes goes by uh, after say, disappears into the broom closet uh, before Korax and Mina enter the room. Or enter the, uh, the, the, the abbot. Oh, uh, yeah, and she'll maybe get some food that she can bring down. Okay. Yeah, you get, like, a plate of, like, um, hardtack bread and some, like, sturdy meat, um, cheese, that kind of thing. Um, some, some hearty food. Um, or some traveling food. Um, but yeah, Korax, Mina, you arrive and see Antares with a tray, essentially, of, of, uh, of food. Like a charcuterie board. Like a medieval <laughs> charcuterie board, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. Um, are you guys headed directly to the safe house? Yeah, uh, unless Korax is going anywhere else, we'll go straight downstairs. Okay. Um, I think Korax will just stop at the bar and okay. just lean towards, um, I've forgotten her name. I remember Lisa. 10 minutes ago. 
Kisa. Uh, he just leans over to Gisa and says, uh, any of the people here that live in this town, the temple is just full of death. Uh, the longer it stays like that, the worse this town is going to be. So you might want to arrange a collection of people, not singular, to go and deal with that. And he looks across at the crowd in the bar. Uh, thank, thank you for letting us know. I, I'll, I'll do what we can. He nods and then just walks off to follow and Terry's. Okay. Um, the three of you join uh, Sainlitz, uh in the in the safe house. Um, Dreshin, uh, Arua, and Stephanie are already down there uh, as well. Uh, you have a, a charcuterie board, um, <laughs> the hero's charcuterie board, uh, with you. Um, it is still uh, not like oppressively warm in here, but it's definitely warmer in here than in the other rooms. Um, and you guys see that same sort of uh, several beds. You see the two uh, areas that tuck back to what you know to be uh, like bathhouses. Um, and that's that's it. That's what you see. What are you guys doing? A lot of shit just went down. <laughs> yeah. They... Ten minute rest. <laughs> yes. <laughs> as they had uh, as they had been coming in, she maybe like was holding the door for them. So they could all like step oh, into that, the, one the um, the hallway yeah. down. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, she wouldn't look at Mina at all. Like she would, her she'd keep her eyes down when he like went past, mm -hmm. and then she'd follow them down. Okay. Um, yeah, you all make it down there. Um, Stephanie has um, uh, Arua in like a little bundle uh, off to the side. She is sleeping, uh, and she looks to you and. I just got her to sleep. This is like my real life now. It wasn't when we started oh, playing. And I, it I, know you, I know your pain because I, my mom watches my uh, niece all the time. <laughs> Are you... Is everything okay? Say this looks pretty banged up. She just goes and puts the, the board down on her bed. I was like the board, the charcuterie board, of course. <laughs> charcuterie. Um, <laughs> glass and sparkly wine. Yeah. Um, she just looks to you all. And, are, are you okay? Uh, we ran into a bit of problems, but um, have you been safe down here? It's it's been quiet. Um, I had uh, and Terry's and I talked, and um, since then everything has been fine. You you guys were only gone. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, an hour or so, I guess. During this whole conversation, say, let's say now start to snore. Yep, <laughs> that makes sense. One of the beds. That makes sense. <laughs> um, should should I dress his wounds? It's probably a good idea if you have the ability to. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm not a nurse, but I, I can I can try. I can do my best. Um, and she begins to like, uh, she'll go to one of like the spare beds and pulls a sheet off of it. And she starts ripping a uh, sheet uh, into um, like, uh, she rips linens into like scraps to use for, for uh, bandages. Is, is everyone else okay? Yeah, Corex is being Corex. Um, okay. And Terrius hasn't killed anyone in the last minute or so, so we're all good. She like, and her eyes like dart to you, um, and then dart back to uh, to Mina. Um, her there eyes is narrow. <laughs> there is now a a uh, a ping pong of snores uh, between the two old men in the room, uh, where one, <laughs> uh, as uh, both Dreshin and Saylitz are now passed out uh, on on beds uh, next to each other, uh, snoring in chorus. Um, um, is, is it, um, I don't know why you. I don't know what happened, but are you okay? Yeah, we're we're fine. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to, uh, I, I guess, enjoy a bath. Uh, she and just holds out like a, a couple of st like scraps of, of linen towards you because uh, she can see that there's like a few wounds on you. Oh, thanks. I'll uh, I'll I'll tend to myself after I've washed. Okay, if you need help, let me know. Um, uh, and, and and you? And she like looks to Korax, who doesn't have any wounds. He's got a wound. He got a yeah. He, he got, got shot with an arrow. Yeah, and, <laughs> and then Terry's is gonna say if if Korax doesn't say anything, she's going to. 
about the arrow. I, I, yeah. I think Korax looks down and say, something happened to me, and then realizes because the adrenaline has run off or worn off um, that he's got an arrow or part of an arrow. And is like, oh shit, I was shot. But it says it's probably too loud. Um, and just grabs it. Oh, you should. Has no idea what to do. Just sits there <laughs> holding it. Um, I, do you. And she like holds up the linens again. You, you should clean that. There's a bit sticking in my leg. Well, you gotta get it out, dear. You can't leave that in there. It's gonna hurt. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And she's gonna she's gonna take off her her leather tunic and then like just like throw the the sword onto the 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 rug because you said it was a plush rug, right? Yeah. And uh, so it doesn't make a clattering sound on the on the floor. It, it, it hurt going in. It's gonna hurt just as bad coming out. I don't remember it going in. That's the problem. Here, let me help. And she walks over to Corax. Just let me help. You. I imagine Aunt Terry just walks up and just grabs it and yanks it, rips it. No, leg she's she, she's going to grab it and. I think we all imagine <laughs> how that that's how that went. <laughs> no, she's gonna she's gonna put her hand like first she's gonna make sure it not it's not like puncturing through his actual shoulder, right? It was in a leg, I think. Mm. Is this leg? Oh, the small leg. Oh, okay. So, uh, she's gonna be like, okay, lie down. Okay. And he, he just lays back, hold, still holding this arrow in his leg. Yeah, she's gonna put like her hand around like the entry wound, and then her, and then she's gonna grip the thing. You ready? No. On the count of three. One. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then she's gonna. Pull. <laughs> he. You hear him? Which... Oh. He yeah. He is loud, um, as he just cries out in pain. Uh, take injuries. And then she'll apply pressure. Huh? And Terrence, do what? you do you let do you stifle his scream or do you let him scream out? Uh, if yeah, she would attempt to stifle it if he, yeah. she can. <laughs> so I have no you, just kidding. You, oh, Jesus! <laughs> so no, 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 you no, have no. like she one just... hand over his mouth. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> like... As soon as he's like, he's like, ah! and then she'd immediately clap it, her hand over his mouth. I just imagine you rip it out. He screams. You go to knock him unconscious, but don't. So you just punch him in the face. He's still completely awake. <laughs> just got wrecked. Oh, oh my shit. goodness, guys! He loses a couple teeth and has an arrow ripped out of his. Yeah, head. <laughs> spits out his incisor. At least um, your leg's not hurting now. No, now they're both hurting. Um, no, no, no. She's not gonna punch him, but she's gonna clap her hand over his mouth, so he's, he might get like the like the initial like bark of a scream out. Yeah. Like, um, so yeah, you clap a hand over his mouth. You apply pressure with one hand. Uh, it's just enough uh, that like Dreshen stirs, and he's back out cold. Um, uh, 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 Stephanie grabs a bundle, rushes over, uh, and she starts like uh, getting the linen under his leg and like tying it um, where you're applying pressure. Um, and uh, you can remove your hand and uh, from his mouth and his leg. Um, oh, um, what what, ha what happened? You, you were fine, and now you came back with an arrow. You, you're you're all, and then Mina. You guys, what 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 did you do out there? Terry's looks oddly fine physically, right? Mm. I think so. Yeah, you didn't take a lot of yeah. damage. Yeah. What what happened? Oh, you know, <laughs> the typical death cult that Mina and Celis just happened to stumble into, trying to help some people. I, I'm sorry, is, is there a typical death cult? Uh, I find it funny you call it a typical death cult after you wake me up by yanking an arrow out of Korax's leg. He woke you up by screaming. And it wasn't oh, that... It... He's just like rolled over on his back just kind of looking at the ceiling talking. It feels better yeah. though, doesn't it? She looks at Korax. Now that the no. arrow's actually out. <laughs> Didn't hurt ten minutes ago. Too much adrenaline. 
how much adrenaline do you have where you could walk all the way here from the temple and not feel it? Yeah, and she and I she think just kind of. Uh, I think you might want to get yourself checked at a doctor for that. She just pats him on the leg, not over the wound, but pretty close to it. <laughs> She's like, Pat, Pat's like, you'll be fine. I don't get hit. That's generally what I avoid. Fighting stuff hurts. I'll avoid it more. I agree, but I don't think but I can avoid it. You you said you said we're safe here. Is is that still true? Yeah, we killed everybody. <laughs> okay. And you see her like lean over on the bed and like pick up a piece of cheese, and she's just like nibbling at the cheese uh, to avoid saying anything else awkward. Um, and she just like quietly like looks at the baby and then just looks down at the cheese um, and exists quietly for fear of uh, more death cult talk. Um, leaving the room to you guys as you can hear the uh, relaxing splashes coming from Mina in the bath. Um, the rubber ducky. Um, like, seriously, casual death cult? <laughs> as, being... as compared to what? The hardcore death cult? I was being sarcastic, say let's... And she walks back over to her, her uh, You need her to work bed. on your tone for sarcasm. <laughs> you say everything I'll, with a straight face. I'll make a note of it. She walks back to her, her bed and kneels back uh, in front of her, in her chest, mm -hmm. opens it up, and she's going to remove that letter. Okay. And put it in her, like, put it in her pocket. Okay. Yeah, you do. You have it in there now. Um, Korax, what are you up to? Uh, after a moment of silence of uh, talking about death cults, Korax eventually pipes up. So you say I ask a lot of questions and too many questions. You need to learn that sometimes you should ask questions. You missed a good opportunity to talk to the reconciliator, if he was even one of them. We don't know what he was doing here. He might have been here to stop that cult. But alone? Would the dragon really send one of them alone? I don't know. I have to ask you. You seem to know more about them than... than well, we do. I've lived my entire life. I've lived my entire life in the Nightlands. So I do know a little bit of the things that go on around here. She says, like, sounding, like, exa like exas exasperated again. She closes the lid to the chest and, like, goes to sit on the bed. So you need to you weren't going to have... Yeah, sure. Sorry. <laughs> Grammar. No, exasperated is a, is a word. I've been awake since yesterday, okay? <laughs> That's true. Sorry, it's just both my mother's an English master, so she get on me all the time about it. Carry on. Uh, she, uh, what was I saying? She closes um, the lid. Talking about how she lives in the nightland. Yeah, yeah. And she goes and sits on the bed. Do you think you're just going to sit and ha have coffee with the Reconciliator? And he's going to tell you all his plans? No, he might be a nice possibly. guy. Your nimbuses were just like blazing all to high heavens. Well, she wouldn't say that, but you know what I mean. To the high <laughs> nod or whatever. Well, so as is soon yours. As he was... All of them were. What? Can't, you can't tell me you don't know. Know what? And she looks at him. The hired help? You have one too. That's impossible. And it's not the first time I've seen it. It's not, I saw it once. Are you sure you didn't get an arrow into the head? The I would be dead I if I here. did. I was talking to Korax. Maybe look at him when you speak then. And she... <laughs> I can't. Sure. You I have can't. a point there, Sailitz. <laughs> Sailitz is being the father. Yeah, that's she, all. She, she leans back against the wall and like pulls her knees up to her chest. You had it displaying when you walked out of here. Before we went to the market.
as you pass the reconciliator here in this bar, you had a nimbus above your head. No one else seemed to take notice, but he stared at you as you walked out. But he did nothing. Whether he could have seen it or not, I do not know. No one else seemed to react. But you displayed a nimbus, which explains why you knew what they were. Because these That's two impossible. had no idea what it was. You cut off a reconciliator's head in a single blow. Not everything's Yeah, because if I didn't kill him, he would have turned on us. And he would have been dealt with. And so he would have had to kill him eventually anyway, so I just did us all a favor. I'm not saying killing him was a bad thing. But missing an opportunity to ask a few questions was missed. But regardless, he probably, potentially, knew about your Nimbus before all of that. And then you displayed it again, along with all of us. I didn't do anything. I'm fairly One certain it was. Just... I was outside the time, but after I dealt with those four outside, I walked in, and you had that sword in hand, and above your head was this. It was unmistakable. When you swung that sword. And that crash of light as you hit into that monstrosity on the floor. People you like. Do not know that it's there? That's fine. But it exists. She looks like she genuinely, genuinely does not believe you. If you don't think you have one, then just think about it and say, if you want to prove you don't, think about that little thing above your head and try to will it into existence. It's quite difficult to explain how to do it. You just do it. She, she shifts uncomfortably. People like me don't. People like me are not divine. What do you mean by people like you? People like me weren't supposed to be divine. People like Sablets. People who kill people all the time. Sablets? I don't really kill people. I hunt animals for the most part. This is That's true. Mina. It's on occasion. Uh, I can't remember what exactly the, the words that Mina says, but she would, she would quote back a line that he had said. In the in the temple, so I guess Korax wouldn't have known, but Sadlitz would have known. I was just the no, you might remember what it was. You're saying like, ah, uh, good question. Don't kill people. I only kill bad people. Or something. No, no, I think no. It, what, what I mean, like killing people to keep her secrets. Yeah. Uh, and how she just how she just has been going around killing people. She would have quoted something like that. Just to, it just shows to it would just show to Sablets that she had overheard what they were talking about. That's, and that's when the I point think that's when it. Mina comes back into the room from the bath. He's got like he's kind of dripping a bit. Got his clothes. That poor kid. <laughs> I mean, you didn't do much better. You threatened him over a hammer. <laughs> Uh, these kids are little trash rats. It's fun to mess with them a lot for a little bit. And worst. They steal everything. You don't know that. You said it. He saved yeah. a lot of people today. No. He didn't have to. He could have just run. He could have. Well, what's in it for him if ever, all his targets die? He, he saved people. You saved him, and he paid it forward. He saved other people. Rather than... Do, do you realize that rather than killing someone to keep secrets, you doing a good deed, saving someone, created more good deeds from that. He saved other people. 
Killing only begets more killing. That's true. I think I've much heard of... Until I, heard, I, heard, I think I've heard a similar phrase to that, but it didn't involve a killing. It involved negativity. I think killing is kind of negative. I think it was just basically replace killing with the word negativity. I think that was the phrase. And 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 killing people to keep a secret. All right, we're off topic. I, mean, I think I've in my life before you lot seen probably like three people that were dead. And then since meeting you two, there's just been lots and lots of killing. So yeah, I'm, I'm with Mina on this. The more killing you're around, the more that happens. Seems to be a cascading thing. Well, we seem to be under unforeseen circumstances to have unforeseen consequences. She's just sitting there on her bed, like back against the wall, knees up, arms on the knees, and she's just like got her head against the wall. She just has her eyes closed. She's not sleeping, but she just has her eyes closed, not saying anything. Still question. And Terry, since I never bothered to ask, but I was kind of curious, how the heck did you end up in the cage of a slaver anyway? They got lucky. What, you were drunk at a bar and you let your guard down? I don't buy that for someone like you. No. And her eye, she still kind of has her eyes closed. They, they found, if you, if you must know, they found me half dead at the bottom of a rock hill in the throes of infection and she kind I rolled of motion, a sense bullshit she motions towards like <laughs> the scar on her arm i was nearly dead from infection and yeah. they took me too bad i don't have sense motive <laughs> you're muted as far as you can tell it's i mean there's no it's this sounds like the truth I mean, you know, honesty. you know too little about Antares to make a, a, a judgment whether that's a, a lie or not. In, in all honesty, I don't care what your secrets are, as long as it's not going to involve endangering Rua any more than she's already in. All right. Well, what's our next move then? That's might as well talk about it. Where do we want to go from here? Well. From word at the market and talking to the merchant, uh, one of the caravans we asked for is arriving hopefully soon. From there, we can get a ride back to Samora. Maybe. Are you... What is... Go ahead. I was going to say, what is uh, Sephany doing during all this? Uh, she is ignoring this conversation because the last time she interjected, you guys talked about murdering things and pulled out arrows out of people and said you casually killed a death cult. Uh, so, uh, partly terrified of you guys. She knows you're strong, but she is now eating cheese and tending to Arua, uh, who does not need tending to because she's asleep. So, Sephany is busying herself with looking busy because there's nowhere else to go. It's either bath or out of the safe house. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, what is Korax doing this? He's he's been uh, uncharacteristically quiet. I he was listening to that final conversation between Saglitzen and Terry's. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I think he's just watching in Terry's. Okay. I was considering using discerning true motives of seeing through lies, but I think Korax hasn't seen Antares lie to us, so wouldn't bother. Antares doesn't tell things, doesn't lie about them. He sees a difference there. Yep. Um, yeah, so he's just sitting there quietly listening to the conversation. Okay. Um, yeah, like, you guys have been there to, like, or been around her 
and have questioned her before and i don't think she's ever been as forthcoming with information yes yeah you're more of a lie of a mission than a lie to your face um so as the conversation sort of dwindles um it is still nightfall um what are you are you planning to tuck in for the night is there anything else you are looking for uh, to do here in Old Nemero? Now that you've massacred a cult? Say that like that's a bad thing. I'm not judging you. I'm just saying what you did. It could have been a good cult. You don't know. Yeah, when, sure. When um, Sadlitz joins... Um, in the, the snoring competition that they were having mm -hmm. uh, I think Korax would eventually get up at that point mm -hmm. and look to Antares is it safe upstairs? You said it's safe down here but is it safe at least in the room upstairs? Because I'm not going to sleep it, with that noise She actually probably hasn't moved She's still sitting with her back up with her head back against the wall, eyes closed I can't guarantee it You saw that reconciliator just walk in the door before. Hmm. I prefer people watching. And he will make his way upstairs. Okay. You do. You pass through the secret door uh, and you head out into the, uh, the tavern proper. Uh, leaving everyone else to their own devices downstairs. Uh, Korax, you head upstairs. It is far quieter than it had been previously. Um, you see that the uh, the large woman and the merchant are no longer in here, uh, and about half the patronage has left. Um, you also see Giza is, um, uh, is sitting uh, on a stool uh, behind the bar, less tuddling around and cleaning things. Uh, she has sort of like, you can see the way she's leaning. She must have her feet up on something back there. Um, as far as you can tell, this seems to be like the slow part of the night or towards the end of the night kind of thing. Uh, he's going to do the same thing he did the other night. Uh, well, it's actually it was earlier in this night before yep. Terry's left. Um, he would get a bottle of water from Gisa and then just go and sit in the corner with his hood up and a book. Um, that is all he would do. Just sit there, watch the people coming and going. Um, and when probably the last person leaves, if the last person does leave, um, he would head back downstairs. Okay. Um, don't know why that happened. Um, yeah, so you can easily do that. She gives you a glass carafe of water. Um, and you read and people watch. Um while you are doing that, as the night dwindles on, we'll kind of cut back downstairs. Uh, Mina, what are you doing? Mina will just find a spot between Antares and Arua mm -hmm. and just kind of sit down with his spear across his knees and just relax. Okay. Tentatively. Perfect. Uh, and uh, Antares, what are you doing? Uh, okay, so is Mina sitting pretty close to her then? Um, if you're sitting between the two of them, Mina would be on the floor. So you're on your bed, I think you said, uh, and uh, Stephanie yeah. and Rua are on their bed, uh, which means that uh, Mina would be on the floor between the two beds. She's gonna... She still hasn't like opened her eyes. She's still sitting there. And when Mina sits down on the floor, uh, she's kind of like expels like a a breath. Like, here, let me make it easier for you. And she will stand up and go into the bath, like the the the, the hot spring room. Would you say that Antares is exasperated? <laughs> yes. No, actually, no, not now. She's. It's more like. Um, it's more like a resignedness. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So you head into the bathhouse. What are you? Uh, this sounds like a weird question, but what are you doing? <laughs> she's not gonna. Well, well, she's probably 
smells like crap again. But uh, I'm assuming there's like a rock bench and there like carved into the stone. Sure. So she's just she's just gonna sit and she's gonna pull that letter out of her pocket. Okay. And she's gonna open it up and read it. Now I am gonna do something I don't usually do. I'm gonna ask you a question. Would you like me okay. to read this to you? And share it to you, or just share it to you. As oh. all the other players look on with anticipation. <laughs> oh, yeah, read it out loud. Like, read it to me. It is written, as you open it, it is written in two separate sets of handwriting. The first set says, Dearest sister, we understand why you did what you did and that you are confused. Mother isn't upset with you. Come home. Signed, R. Then another, far more aggressive handwriting says, P.S. Or keep running so I'm given an excuse to kill you. Signed, E. I think her hand is shaking a little bit as she reads it. You can now see she... that letter in your inventory sweet is she just gonna fold it back up and put it back in her pocket and maybe like uh she might like wipe out like wipe at her eyes or something mm -hmm. and then she's just gonna go back to sitting on the rock house she was sitting on her bed back against it resting her head arms on her knees So we cut from you sort of drifting in the warmth, uh, in the warmth, the warm air of the hot spring uh, to to sort of uh, a, a slumbery state. Um, we cut back to Mina, who is head down uh, on the floor uh, between where your bed was or your bed is and where um, Arua and Stephanie are uh, and Salitz, who I can only imagine is uh, back to sleep. Um and a Korax who is nodding into his book uh, as the night winds to its end. And the four of you eventually fall to slumber. Um, you again hear, in the morning you hear uh, the the footsteps above. Uh, you hear uh, movement, scraping of chairs. Uh, you know it is morning by the sound of the traffic in the tavern above. Uh, all of you have made your way downstairs. Um, there seems to be a buzz in the tavern. Uh, it is more activity than you heard the night prior. But again, you didn't arrive fresh in the morning. You waited to the afternoon to slow it down. Uh, but you are all awoken by that sound, followed shortly after by the sound of a crying baby, um, to which Stephanie awakens, and you can hear her shushing, uh, and she kind of moves off to one of the further beds um, and begins to care for Arua. As you all wake up, what are you doing? I think she's going to take a bath mm -hmm. again. She slept. <laughs> she slept on that seated position on a rock. <laughs> sure. Night. And uh, and then when she's done, she'll dress dress again and come back out. Okay. Uh, you do so. Uh, Korax, Mina, Sadlitz, what are you guys up to? Mina will uh, head upstairs and look at getting some breakfast. I guess. Okay. Uh, Korax, Sadlitz. Uh, Korax, once um, Antares eventually appears, would go and clean up because he didn't the night before. Um, so he's probably still smelly from the death cult place. Uh, there uh, are two eventually... separate baths. All right. Well, yeah, you'd probably wait for her to exit anyway. Yeah. Um, Daylitz is probably gone into one of the baths. He's trying to get himself cleaned up from the blood, and he's probably going to try to get the blood stains out of his clothes. Okay. From yesterday's fight. Uh, and Korax, you were doing the same thing, more or less. Yeah, um, and then eventually once he gets out, he'd head up to join Mina. But totally. Okay, fan flipping tastic Mina, you are the first one upstairs. Therefore, you are the first one to see the commotion that is taking place upstairs. Um, it appears as though a caravan has finally rolled into town. Um, you see that there are uh, several new merchants. This seems to be more than just a single uh, cart that wheels into town. Uh, this seems to be a large shipment coming from 
um, outside of the Nightlands from the RuneScape, uh, and it is headed towards uh, Corso. Um, you see that there are uh, a couple of guards in there. There's a couple of wagon masters. There's a couple of uh, merchants all sort of milling about, getting food. You see that Gisa uh, and her husband are moving around the tavern, sort of taking care of everybody. You're acknowledged uh, and shown, like, motioned to a table. Um, and as you begin to uh, settle in, uh, settle into your table, you hear a voice, uh, a voice you haven't heard in quite a while. Uh, you hear uh, a, a female voice sort of cut across the room. Is that Mina Han? Mina will look up, knowing the voice straight away, and kind of almost stand to attention and go, Captain Jun. She marches across the <laughs> bar, uh, across the tavern, um, and she sort of, kind of uh, almost uh, like doing away with all uh, normal, like, uh, military style pleasantries uh, and she sort of claps you on the back uh, having not seen you in quite some time um, what are you doing here uh, we're on our way back to Samora did you get the note I sent yes I thought I was meeting you in Laredo what happened uh, we thought we'd meet you along the way and this seemed as I was going to say safe but I take that back. This seemed like a place to meet you. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's, it's on the way. It's on the way. Uh, is, is, and like, she like looks around for a second and sort of leans in a bit closer to you. Is everything, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, ran into a bit of trouble. Uh, well, bit, a lot of trouble and then a bit more trouble then extra trouble when we got here. Right now, we seem to be out of trouble. Uh, she, like, takes a step back and looks at the status of your clothing, um, which I don't think you've had a chance to repair yet. Uh, and she looks at you and she says, I, uh, I see that you have gotten into quite a bit of trouble. Yep. It seems to be following me for some reason. Interesting. Is there something I should know? Uh, and he purposely looks around at many, the many other eyes in the room and just says, yes, but doesn't elaborate. Okay. I understand. Are you traveling with companions? Uh, yes, there's a, a group of us, uh, um, a mother and newborn, a uh, couple of elderly gentlemen, and two others. Uh, is there a is there a grumpy uh, gentleman with you? Yeah, I mean, grumpy's an understatement. Does he have uh, a satellite? The name sounds familiar. Uh, and she, you, you can, there's a little bit of sarcasm in the voice, uh, and she rolls her eyes. There is a man here looking for him. Um, he has a caravan. Oh, yeah, he sent a note to his brother-in-law. Uh, I, he, he didn't elaborate. That would make sense. Um, well, I can readjust where I'm going and I can reassign towards that caravan as a guard and we can get you back to Samora. Is there, is there something you need in Samora? Is there um, somewhere we can talk better? Um, he'll think about it and then just go, uh, yeah, follow me. And he will take her into the cupboard and down into the room below. Okay. Um, as Korax and uh, Sadlitz are about to exit uh, into the, the stairs that lead up to the cupboard, the door opens and you see Mina in tow uh, with a, uh, a, a, a fairly chiseled um, 30 year old woman uh, who is in a, a decent bit of, of uh, like, not like heavy armor, but like nice armor uh, that is well maintained uh, and I believe uh, also carrying a spear. Is that correct, Mina? 
um, a similar style spear to Mina as uh, she follows him into this safe house that you guys have established. Uh, you all see her. She looks around, sees all of you. Uh, and she just sort of stands there with her spear in hand uh, as the door swings closed behind her. Yeah, as soon as, soon as a, a stranger walks in, Antares would go for her weapon. She doesn't move. Uh, Salitz looks to Korax. I hope he knows what he's doing there. I mean... Yeah, she'll, she'll go, like, she's gonna go yeah. and grab it off the bed and, like, like, cut, like, and, like, draw it and be like, like, what, like, like she's like alarmed. Get lucky. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does, does their armor look similar to Mina's? Mina uh, similarity there? No, it would be uh, it would be much more uh, elaborate. It's a uh, full breastplate. Similar coloring. Yeah. Yeah, and she and she looks alarmed. Like, what are you doing? Uh, Possible superior. Like I've I've got now uh, ride back to Samora. Isn't that what we came here for? She kind of relaxes a little bit. This is your contact. Yes, this is Captain Wexy Jund. Of the Jund... Uh, Jund Caravan Guard Company. And she's, she'll stand up straight and put the sword back. This is a uh, And he'll, he'll look over at... And, and he'll look over at Sadlitz. Um, I think your brother-in-law's in town too. Daylitz had already shrugged and uh, gone up the stairs before this conversation even started. Perfect. Um, yeah, you you head upstairs. Uh, we'll, we'll stick down here for a second because uh, this is dramatic. Um, uh, so uh, she sort of relaxes the grip. Her grip like slides down on the, uh, the spear. Um, and she says, uh, you've assembled a, quite a motley crew, Mina. Um, well, more so... Uh, th- just found ourselves together he said um that thing that i didn't want to tell you upstairs and he will just reveal his nimbus man um you know that's where we end this episode damn it yeah that's way too good of an (sighs) open-ended yeah Fuck yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, (laughs) Thank you. Thank you for giving me that cliffhanger. Well, well done. Um, Yes, I'll uh, take the notes for next week. (laughs) Yeah. Let's uh, let's go around and do our 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 introductions here and we'll get to our after show and discuss that bomb drop. Um, Cool, cool, cool. Uh, We'll start uh, on the top of my screen with Chris. Who are you? Where can we find you? What are you up to? I'm Chris, a.k.a. Necro. You can't find me anywhere but the Discord. Nowhere else. Perfect. Uh, Norm. Uh, same Norm or Snow Dogs. Um, find me in the Discord. Hell yeah. G? Uh, you'll find, uh, Lightning Spaz09 on Twitter. Uh, go follow me there. Um, you can Lightning Evoker on Twitch and in the Discord. And you'll catch me for the other Patreon games and the Twist of Fate games with Chris here. You always forget. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it. Absolutely. Uh, and last but not least, uh, Matt, who are you? Where can we find you? What are you up to? I'm D, uh, 173. Um, find me on Mike's Discord, Some, sometimes around on Twitch, moderating other things, but that's. I don't think you all even know those channels. And basically, if you ever see my, if ever see that username, it's probably me. All righty. All righty. We're going to get out of here, guys. We're going to do our after show. Uh, this was a, a, a bomb drop heavy episode, I think. Um, so we're going to get out of here and do our after show. If you guys want access to the after show and you want to support the channel, the best way to do that is Patreon. Link for that down below. Join us at the $5 tier for this after show and all other ones. Uh, while you're down there, click on that Discord link. Join us in the Discord. Be a part of the community. Be a part of the conversation. And we will see you next month for more of The Rise. So from all of us to you guys, bye-bye.